Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean. Last time we managed to get through the easy part of Astral Cave and get to the really tedious and really annoying part if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, this part is a pain in the ass. So, last time we went through the path that was already open to us before pressing the switch at all. Now we're going to press this switch for the first time. And run into a battle right away. Sure, why not? Let's use uh, fire on these guys. Gain a little bit of stats back, or HPMP back after battle. That's nice. Uh, yeah, so this one opens now. However, this door that we got last time is not open. However, this one over here is. And this one leads to a new part of the area, which we do want to take. If I haven't mentioned before, the Mandrake and the Savory and all that stuff is uh, just items for compounding, which of course we're not doing yet. I think this one? One around here somewhere. Really? Okay. Where is it? There's a couple of them in this area. Oh boy. That's gonna hurt. See if we can avoid getting hit by that one more time. Ow! Leave Iria alone. She's very, very squishy. God, she needs more armor. She's kind of built like a monk. Except for the fact that she doesn't have the HP to back it up. She has low defense because she can't equip much when it comes to armor. So yeah, she's got 114 defense and you have 121, but for some reason the difference between the two in terms of the amount of damage they take is like, you know, Kira takes like 40% more damage. It is ridiculous. Anyway, heal that up. Now, Savory restores HP by 10%, but I believe it also poisons you. So I would not recommend using it for that. It really is designed to be used in compounding more than anything else. Okay, I think I'm all prepped up there. Okay. Where? There we go. Iron in that one. And silver in that one. Now, neither of these serve any purpose. Well, iron serves a purpose, but we'll never use silver for anything anyway. Might as well just sell it. There's one thing that you want to do in this game, and that's kind of maintain a clean inventory, because with the amount of item creation we'll be doing later in the game, it uh, really becomes necessary. Now, this door is locked, as is that door, so we can't do anything there. But this one is open, and this one contains a hard knuckle, which I believe we're already equipping. Yeah, if you got all the way through here without equipping that, you're crazy, because it costs like 80 full and, you know... Cheap as bones and ups her damage quite a bit, and she needs the extra damage just to kind of keep pace with Radix at this point. Be kind of nice if I could get a little more defense going on for both of them. That door is locked, so we can go back this way. Down here. So we've done everything on this path. There we go. Just got him before he ran away. There, she can gain a little more MP. Not that she's going to preserve her MP unless I choose to uh, make her preserve it. You can go into tactics, into strategy, and don't use any techs, and she won't. But her normal attack sucks so damn much that I don't want her to do that, even if she expends all of her MP. I'll probably end up giving her a Blackberry somewhat shortly. Because, unfortunately, the AI is just not smart enough to realize that even though she can, you know, two-shot these enemies and they can't do any damage, she still feels the need to use her techs and waste her MP. Which is why I don't use my MP very often, because I know that I don't need it. Yes, the battle's a little more fun using techs than not using techs, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a waste of MP, and you're going to need your MP for certain fights anyway. I'd like to use my MP on the, um, yeah, opening up, hitting the switch a third time, even though it just looks like it went straight back up, opens up this door for some reason. This path here is the upper part of that room that we saw from before. 
uh, the one on the bottom trail there on the left. But, uh, yeah. Oopsies. There we go. So, with that being said, we can go up here, collect a somewhat half-invisible looking treasure chest, and then a flare bomb, which I don't need. The treasure in here is mostly junk. There's one piece that I really want. Well, not really want. I decently want. And that is the third time we've hit the switch, which opens the top door. Yeah, the AI in this game sucks. That's why, that's one of the issues I have with the battle system. Even though it's interesting and unique and different, it really wasn't perfected in this game. This is the way forward, by the way. And, yeah, so they didn't really do it all that well until later. This door is the point of no return. This will lock behind us. As you can see there, yeah, I can't get back in. But nicely enough for the game, they've locked us here and they haven't, uh, you know, our only way back is the path we've already seen. As you can see, we're back at the start of Astral Cave from the Astral side, so I'm just going to save real quick. And now that we're all healed up and saved, we can head back this way. And what I want to do is, I went through this last time and I didn't show off all the treasure, so I do want to run through it quickly again. I just wanted to uh, at least show you how to get to uh, the boss fight if you were planning on doing that. And the reason I'm doing this now instead of later is because I want to clear it all out so that I can do the events later partly off screen and not get kind of bogged down with that and be able to keep a cleaner narrative easier on the for you know trying to understand the story if you're not dealing with uh, you can't get up to those if, as far as I know now here's another door yeah but like I was trying to say there yeah it's easier to pay attention to the story if you're not interrupted by exploration of a you know a dungeon and trying to find treasure when you're supposed to be I don't know hunting something down or running away from something or whatever's gonna happen or get a reverse doll which again not particularly useful, but uh, it could be useful, like uh, I was attempting to use them before on Ashley's path, just because I was having issues with that boss. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, fighting one soldier is not a lot of fun. Very little experience and high danger content. Now, I don't believe there's anything else here. I think we've mined all the treasure that we can mine. Which kind of sucks, but... And Eerie's going to sit on her ass for the majority of these fights. Now, there's nothing over there. Over here, there's an invisible wall. But I don't know why there's an invisible wall here. The reason why I don't know why there's a wall here, or an invisible wall, is because even with all this, as far as I've found, I've... I swear I've pressed A on pretty much every tile in here, on the wall or on the crystals, and I haven't found anything. I don't know why there's a secret wall that hides nothing. But that's what it seems to be. At this point, just follow the path straight forward. There is a little more treasure to pick up. The only real useful piece of treasure that you can get in here. And that'll loop us back around. The other reason why I'm doing this is because I do need to level my characters up because I do only have two of them right now. And unfortunately, they're kind of weak to be doing this dungeon on their own. I'm a lot better now that I've gained a couple of levels after going through the first half of this dungeon. Nope, no, I want to go that way. Run. Oh boy. Yeah, I was going to try and use Shock Sword on him, but he decided he was going to run away. There we go. Yeah, see, this one had a little more HP than the others for some reason. Shock Sword is really good against them. They just have to be in the right position for you to use it. Alright, so... 
Would you stop running into battles as soon as I start talking? Not helping. Stupid bunnies. Yeah, she gains about 40 HP after that fight. That's not too bad. It's a decent amount of HP to regain. And the Poison Charm, the only real reason I decided to come here other than the levels. As far as treasure goes, there's nothing else really useful. Poison Charm, no stats, but reduces poison. It's kind of useful, I guess. I don't have anything else that you can equip, do I? No, unfortunately not. I need to be able to buy new gear. I believe we can do that in Astral. So we want to... Uh, get ourselves over there. More mandrakes, which I probably won't use. I haven't really done a lot of experimenting with uh, compounding because I don't really need to have all those extra items. Uh, again, I kind of showed this, uh, maybe I showed this off, probably not. But there's a room over here with crystals in it, but I don't think you get anything from them, at least from what I've tried to get. So, I'm just going to ignore those. And go up here to this room. And there's nothing in here. I could have swore there was something in here. Eh, whatever. It's not in the wall, as far as I know. Maybe I want there to be something in there, because otherwise this room doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's probably it. There wasn't a, another... Okay, good. I'm in an imaginary world again, apparently, where I think there's rooms where there aren't rooms. I'll just scan the wall here real quick. Be nice if they had a system in here where you could scan for this kind of stuff, kind of like in uh, Hexus Force. That would be pretty cool. They also had a very similar feature. This is the door of no return, by the way. We can't get through here. So yeah, now we're back at this side, and uh, I'm just going to do the backtracking off screen. And even though Radix has a poison charm on, he's still got poison. Thank you very much, game. I'm actually going to leave out the cave and heal first. Then I'll run through. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, the other game that they have that kind of a feature in, like the scanning for items, is... Oh, what is that game called? Tales of Legendia. I'm not sure if they have it in any of the other Tales games, because I haven't finished any of the other ones, but eh, so be it. Anyway, I'll meet you on by the healing point on the other side of the Astral Cave. Okay, we're back. And with the cave now behind us, we can head out here in the daylight instead of in the darkness. And... Hey, what's going on here? That kind of, like, uppity music. Like something's going on. Anyway, we should ask around. Now, you'll notice that the scene plays out drastically different than when we have Ashley. I believe if you have Seas, it plays out uh, more closely to how it plays out when you have Ashley than this. Though I could be mistaken. It's been a long time since I brought Seas this far. Uh, let's try strolling around town. I want to pick up some things. Okay. Very long walk down those stairs. I kind of find that annoying how they make the running speed drops so much down the stairs or up the stairs. Anyway, there are items here. Let's buy some. Anything useful at this guy's shop? Uh, no, as you can see, Crystal, Sapphire. We're not getting drastically expensive things around here. Iron, of course, is worth nothing, so... And that's the phone. One moment. Okay, there we go. Phone's done ringing. Every time it says unknown caller, it's like, hmm... Yeah, I'm not touching that. If you don't have your... your... I don't know, your number displayed, or your name, or whatever it is through that stupid phone thing, I'm probably not going to answer it. <laughs> Most of the time, it won't be for me anyway. Anyway, let's just buy a couple of things there. Actually, let's buy a Blackberry or two. Not that uh, it really matters all that much. There are far more important things around here to buy. Around rocks. Oftentimes herbs are growing in such places. 
I don't know if that means you can find herbs at random spots in the game. I haven't really checked a lot. I've checked a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, over here is the dock, as uh, it was before there. You, town with lots of strong people. Can I go in the store? Thank you. Here we have I'm Hungry and <sighs> Stupidity. And the mother is doing, yeah, she's making dinner. I want dinner, I'm hungry. <laughs> My way of making dinner involves going out and getting pizza. <laughs> because pizza is awesome and I'm hungry and pizza is good and I'm rambling, but anyway, pizza, important things in life, come on. As you can see, Rius's mansion is uh, pretty, pretty empty at this stage. I don't even think Rius is here right now on this path. Yeah, the guest room is empty. Everything is empty. Pretty much pointless. There we go, I wasted 20, 30 seconds of your time. Oops. Uh, I, yes, I already talked to you, shut up. Unfortunately, I can't make the uh, dialogue go any faster. What do you say? I'm not boasting, but I think we're the best. It's kind of the definition of boasting, isn't it? Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Oh, Astral's not directly fighting with the Demon World's army like the Kingdom of Van or Sylvant. Or Sylvalent. I'm going to call it Sylvan because I have for so long and I'm always going to just naturally reflex to saying it or pronouncing it in that way. Just like uh, Ronixus's name, which I'm surprised I actually called him Ronixus instead of Ronix because I've called him that since the first time I played this game too. Go figure. Anyway, uh, Van is the, or Vaughn, is the third continent that we haven't been to yet. Anyway, a lot of the Highlander soldiers are from this castle, Astral have made it over there to help, uh, shut up, are working to, uh, as mercenaries to help out in the war there. The Feather Folk, ah, oh. race who look like angels have wings like birds. Well, that sounds cool. Maybe we'll meet one of those at some point. Uh, that is the exit from town. Going up here. I already talked to you. Shut up. Ah, skill shop. Most important area in the game. Uh-huh. Let's see, technique level three. Bought. And the expensive one. Combat level three. Bought. I'm pretty sure I have combat level two, but I'll check it anyway because I'm OCD about stuff like that. Yeah, 25,000 full on skills in this area and I would highly highly recommend you get them I wouldn't put any more skills into anything at this point I don't think there's anything of value no there isn't yeah but we've got pretty much everything except the one I want we're not gonna be able to get that for quite some time fortunately we have a a couple more well I don't think it's a couple more dungeons. We have some world map and another dungeon and some other stuff to deal with before we get to the uh, town that sells it. Anyway, there's that claymore that we found, so we can sell it, I think, for about 650 or so. You can get a ruby wand if you have a mage, which we don't have yet. Uh, I'm actually going to pick one of those up because I'm going to get a mage in the near future. Ring mail! Now, even though it's better for Radix there, I would not recommend buying it because... It's got 18 defense, and what Iria is using, uh, Radix can also use, has 25 defense. So I would recommend just buying the Chinese uh, Gi. Uh, let's see, anything else of value? No. Yeah, the uh, amount that we spend on equipment in this game is negligible. What we spend on everything else is not negligible. So again, okay, throw this on, she gets a little more defense. Throw this on, he gets a little more defense. Uh, I could have done some more level grinding in that uh, cave there, but I, I think uh, we'll have another option of doing that later. Man, there is nobody home. I think I've explored everywhere, haven't I? I was already in there. I talked to you. 
Oh. Heard that Rius, the famous war hero and captain of the Astral Cavity, accepted a bladeless sword from the king. Oh, well that's uh, kind of interesting. I was hoping you would say something else, but no. Here is the bar. Let's go in the bar. I don't think there's anything interesting in the bar. Okay, I didn't even press the button. There you go. Apparently he has idle hand syndrome or something like that. Anyway, here we get some more background information. Three celebrated people in the Demon War. Rius is the first one that comes to mind. The other one that comes to mind is um, Cius's father, no, Rius is Cius's father, is Ashley. And the third one we have not met yet. Now, I don't know if this is like part of the DJAP translation, but all of the bartenders in this game say welcome, and that's it. They don't say anything else. They're Kinda boring. Alright, we've been pretty much everywhere, except the castle. You may go inside. Well, that's nice of you. It's nice that we can go into the castle without uh, any issues. Can't go everywhere in the castle, but we can definitely go to some places, and I believe as with most castles in this game, there is some treasure around here somewhere. Though I could be wrong. No, that leads somewhere else. Yeah, apparently not in this one. Herbal medicine, just to name one. Well, I can't remember what the other ones are, but we'll eventually find out. Please don't bring in any dust. Well, that that's helpful. It's a special heraldry crest hidden in each land. Never been seen before, but yeah. Basically, go to Dungeon X and find Spell X. Um, yeah, I kind of do want to hear the melody you wrote. You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh well. Yeah, not much we can do in the castle yet. Just talk to a few people. I gotta admit, I really do like this theme. I find it's uh, pretty pretty cool, for sure. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like adventurous, like something is going on, something mischievous in the background. Oh, oh there's one person to talk to. Beast Human Transformation Phenomenon. The race referred to as Lycanthro, I'm assuming yes, that's how you pronounce that, are few in number, but for some reason they transform from the form of a person to an animal. And because they have the term lichen in their name, which actually is, I think, Greek for wolf, or, you know, using the term lichen in the, uh, what movies were those? Yeah, I'll stay. This is how we continue the plot, I believe. Um, oh, what are those? The, the Underworld series. They use the term lichen instead of werewolf, and that's actually... An actual term for werewolfism or wolf in general. I think it's Greek. I could be wrong. Anyway, there's a bell in the background. Let's ignore Colin's rambling and uh, let's do this instead. Colin is me, by the way, if you didn't get that. I mentioned it once before. Anyway, apparently we do nothing to that bell. Let's talk to you. Did you sleep well? Ah, right. I knew he said something, I just wasn't sure if I was supposed to talk to him directly. Oh. I guess since uh, we weren't staying in his mansion, there was no one there to prevent it. Ashley didn't wake up and figure out what was going on. Okay. So a few people actually say something different. Ah, so it would be best if I had some secret skills. Yeah, it is kind of a place of swords. Give me free swords. Psst. Ah, here, I didn't talk to him last time. Teach you the secrets of swordsmithing. Cannot tell you the details. However, the key is using good weapons and minerals. No shit. You think? Think I could use iron and... What's the first weapon I got in this game? Longsword, saber, longsword, yeah. 
think I could use those two to make the best weapon in the game? Ha! This is Astral Castle. You may go inside. Well, thank you. Oh, look at that timer. Whoa! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my timer. It says 26 minutes. I think I forgot to stop it when I went outside. Um, okay. If not, then this video is way too long. Should have been leaning back in the chair like I was ready to fall asleep. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Star Ocean. Next time, we're going to continue into the castle, into the one room that I didn't go into, and see what we can do with, uh, you know, the information that we've learned about uh, Rius's murder. Anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.